you're thinking about moving to the Sacramento area, I think that's an amazing idea. I'm a Sacramento native and I absolutely love living here. In this video, I am going to give you the top five things that you need to do before you make your move to the Sacramento area. I'm the owner of Main Street Properties. If this is your first time to the channel and you would like to know everything about moving to the Sacramento area, make sure that you hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notifications whenever we release new content. I get lots of calls and texts from people just like you who are looking to move to the Sacramento area. I absolutely love it. I think you should come and join us. We're all very happy here. <laughs> and whether you're looking to move in the next nine days or 90 days, that's okay. You can call, text, email me. All my contact information is below and I would love to be a part of your move to the Sacramento or surrounding areas. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the top five things that you need to do before you move to Sacramento. And number one, you're gonna to wanna to call me. I've been doing business in Sacramento since 2014 as a licensed real estate agent. I was born here, raised here. I spent lots of time in Sacramento, all the surrounding suburbs, all the surrounding areas. When I was a teenager, I was a delivery driver. So I'm telling you guys, I've been on these streets streets. I know this city. That means that you can ask me the good and the bad. Also, you're going to move here. You're going to use me as your realtor. You're going to be my friend. So I'm going to lay it down for you and tell you exactly what you need to know about this area. Number two, once you've called me and we've talked about everything that you want in a property, and I mean everything like size of backyard, do you want RV access, who's gonna be living with you, are you gonna have friends over? Like, I get really deep because I really wanna know exactly what you're looking for so that way we're not running around looking at every single house that's on the market because that's gonna drive you insane. So, after I'm done talking to you about everything that you want, I am going to set up a property search for you. And that means that not only am I looking for properties that are going to fit your best interest, but we have an AI algorithm that's looking for properties that are going to suit exactly what you want. It's an amazing technology and I use it to best service my clients. So you'll be notified whenever a property hits the market that matches your criteria immediately. That could be the difference between you getting the house or not getting the house. Number three, you need to get pre-approved. Unless you're going to be paying cash, there's most likely going to be a loan in place for the property. So you can work with whatever lender you want to. I'm not connected to any specific lender. I can help you buy a home no matter who you choose to use. And I have been doing this for a long time, so I am pretty good at telling whether somebody's going to be a good lender or a bad lender. So I have a list of people that I trust with my clients, and I would be happy to give you that list so that you can go through and figure out which person is best for you to work with and then we can go from there. But getting pre-approved is very important because all those properties that I'm sending you are for sale, but they're only going to be for sale for a short period of time. Getting pre-approved tells you what you can afford in your monthly payment and also in your purchase price. Most of these homes are only going to be accepting offers from pre-approved or cash buyers. So it's in your best interest to get with a lender right away and find out exactly what you're pre-approved for. They're going to give you a letter and that is their um, upfront commitment to giving you a loan. Of course, once we get into contract, then they're going to want to go through all the financial documents and that's when you'll get your final loan approval. But your pre-approval letter is your ticket to go shopping. Number four, once you're pre-approved, that's when we're going to start schedule showings so we can go out and look at properties that you might be interested in. And it's as easy as you texting me an address or I have an active portal that you can save properties in and you can say, hey, Amy, I saved all those properties. Go take a look. If your realtor is making you look for the properties and set up the showings and do all of, I mean, what are they doing? That's, that's, not, that's not your job. So please dump it on me. Just send me the address and I'll set up the showings. 
you and I will meet at the property. We will take a look at it. One thing I will say, working with me, I my family has a construction background. I've watched homes be built from the ground up. I've gone through multiple renovations, flips, you name it. So when you're looking at the property and you're looking for the granite countertops and you're looking to see if your couch will fit and you're looking for where you're gonna put the kids room and where you're gonna put the pet box and where you're going to put the TV, I'm looking at the roof. I'm looking at the water heater. I'm looking at the heating unit. I'm gonna look at those and try to figure out a timeline for when those might need to be replaced. Of course, we can always ask the seller, but it's so much better if I can find the dates on the products and look at it to see what it might be. I see houses all the time, so I can tell if one of these major systems is going to be a problem. I like to run the water. I do little things like that, so that way you're not spending money on an inspection for a property that you probably would have passed on if you had known there was these little issues. That's just one piece of value that I bring to my clients. Number five, it's super important that if you're moving from out of the area that you make sure to get employment here as well as transfer paperwork so that way you can provide that to the lender. They're going to want to need that. Did you know that you actually can't get a home loan in another state or area that's farther away from your work unless you have a transfer letter? It's very important for you to know. So I would probably get that before we even start looking at houses, but you may want to find a home in the area before you give notice at your work. So I would recommend doing that as soon as possible, um, but it needs to be on your radar. Number six, <laughs> don't buy anything. Don't run your credit. Don't, not even for a discount on a shopping ticket, right? Don't run your credit. Don't buy a car. Don't put your name on anything as a co-signer. Don't use your credit. So if you've got perfect credit right now and you have a credit card that's completely empty and you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna go buy myself some furniture for my new house, just don't, don't do that. Because what that's going to do is affect your credit score, which then can affect your pre-approval. So as soon as you get pre-approved and you decide to buy a house, that's the only thing you're buying for the next 90 days. Think about it that way. As soon as you've closed on the property, go ham. You can buy furniture, you can buy appliances, you can go on a vacation. Just wait until we've actually closed on the property before you do that. So just a little anecdote. A few years ago, I was showing property with a client and I'm not quite sure if our wires got crossed through any of this process but we'd been looking for a house for quite some time. They were such a cute little couple and we were friends on Facebook. I noticed on their Facebook that they bought a new car, which was super exciting because I mean, who doesn't wanna get a brand new car? But I was a little concerned because I just knew about their um, finances because of the purchase. So I reached out to the preferred lender that they were working with and I asked them, does this change things for them? And unfortunately, it changed things enough to where they weren't able to be pre-approved any longer for a house. So guys, I'm telling you, if you're getting pre-approved for a property or you're looking to buy a home, then talk with a lender, talk with me, your new realtor, and remember, don't buy anything. Okay, so that's been the top five things that you need to do before you move to the Sacramento area. I hope that you follow number one and give me a call when you're thinking about making your move.